against Kansas. They scored 98 against Virginia. Corey Kispert had nine threes in that game. Can we say future Hall of Famer without any hesitation? Zero hesitation. Yeah. I mean, as soon as as soon as they have another vote, Joel Ayayi comes up with the steal. Little give and go. Bounce pass to Suggs. And then Ayayi is there to clean it up. A an athlete. When your 6'8 guy can switch out on the opposing point guard and do that good a job, you got a pretty good defense. Kispert open for three. That dude is a baller, man. If he play, if he played the whole season, we'd be he'd be a household name by now. Yeah. You know when he gets when he gets in there, he's got a he's got a score. Right now, Heath becoming the go-to guy for the Waves. Kispert hesitated on that shot. He had a wide open three, and usually does not hesitate. Jalen Suggs on the drive and draws the foul, going right into the defense. You know, you could see right there that Cedric Altman did not have legal guarding position. Last year. Boy, that's a, a lob into about quadruple coverage right there. That one had no chance of working. Suggs hits the deck and saves it. Oh, what a pass. And then all alone, a sweet feed underneath for the bucket. Four assists and 12 turnovers coming into the game tonight. Session though now for the Waves, but not for long. They turn it over. Zags looking to run as always. And Suggs called for the offensive foul. That'll be his second. A uh, different Gonzaga team in the second half. Gonzaga third in the nation in assist to turnover ratio, but not good in that department in the first half. Seven assists and eight turnovers, but what a great start to the second half. Country leading the West Coast Conference in assists, but also leads them in steals, does so many different things. That ball poked away from behind by Suggs. He runs the floor, gets it back, lays it in. And a foul on Suggs. That's going to be his third, and that's why you see that kind of a reaction from him. And the feeling you have because of the standard they've set this year is, well, they haven't played well at all. It'll only yeah. be a rumor to me. I would never confirm that on my own. When's the last time, other than to make a flight, you were, when's the last time you were willingly up at 4.30 in the morning? When I was driving Raftery home. <laughs> So that feels like an asterisk. I think in the record book, that one comes with an asterisk. Thing easy. We haven't seen much of Gonzaga getting easy baskets in this game. Spectacular save by Jalen Suggs and then a great pass at the end. Who's done that in other small conferences? There, there are 25 small conferences. Right. Who's done it? And the answer is nobody. Nobody's done what Gonzaga's done at this level for this period of time. It, it's absolutely remarkable. There's been great stability on the coaching staff. In 17, 20 years ago, where it was kind of a little engine that could, they were ultra-skilled, but now they're not only ultra-skilled, they're ultra-athletic. And it, Actually, Baker Mayfield started out as a quarterback. He's a walk-on at Texas Tech before he transferred to Oklahoma. Well, both teams are really getting after it. Iowa is the national player of the year. I think he's going to be. I think he is right now. But I do think Corey Kispert is giving him a run. America with the seasons they're having and so it's going to open it up for for you could have multiple players from a, a, a team like Gonzaga uh, and get you know Jared Butler making it think on that screen roll situation and Chukwuka just went right into the corner he really here Gonzaga they're number one in offensive efficiency I think they're number 20 21 or something in defense you know Baylor Florida State San Diego State, teams like that, because those were the, maybe the best teams that, that those schools had ever had. Not to wear out the football analogy, and I know he's a quarterback, but boy, he's like a running back. When he finds a seam, he is gone, and this time he's got an easy deuce to add to his totals. The final seconds will run out on this game. Gonzaga got a stern test in the first half, only led by four at the break, but they win going away. Kispert and company with the big performances of the offensive end. And it's a 95-70 to 70 win for Mark Few's team.